Well, hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Time and Lyman 24. This is American Digger Magazine Edition, Volume 16, Dozens Issue 1. DC insiders who have attacked oh, let me turn down my volume here. Watching my uh, ad play here. Hey, we're going to go through the magazine real quick. <clears throat> I just want to thank everybody who does submit their items to American Digger Magazine. It takes the time and effort to write a story about them and how they found their items, where they were, and what it was like and uh, for them, and uh, you know the equipment they use and uh, and how they felt when they found the item, you know, and uh, the pictures they take. And uh, I just want to thank all those people that take the time and effort to, to submit their stories. I want to go through this month's edition and uh, see if there's anybody I know in there. Let's take a look. Hey, Freddie, TNC Diggers in the house. Good to see you, Mikey. Yippee, signals. Ian Beepin, what's up, bud? Good to see you again. North Jersey Detectors in the house. Swinging over his 379. Good to see you, Jared. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Nancy and being brother girl. Always great to see you, hon. All right. Let's take a look and see who made it into American Digger Magazine this month. I'm not going to go through all the big stories, just the uh, Just Doug section. That's the one that I usually uh, like to submit my, my finds to. And, uh, but there's some, you know, usually some big stories in here like uh, when people find silver hordes and stuff like that and, but uh, I think there was somebody in here I've seen already let's take a look see uh, uh, uh. I got an Ian Finn looks like he found like a half real and a Mike Spitzer uh, Spicer sorry if I pronounce these names more wrong uh, but awesome awesome pieces check these things out Sorry, I'm going to be missing the chat because I'm going to be, uh, HD Shovelhead's in the house. Good to see you, Ed. Good evening, sir. All righty. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Messy Hole, hey, what's up? Hell, I love that video, James. That was awesome. I cannot wait to see that. It was so hard to see on that little one inch by one inch screen. It was kind of jerky. I can't wait to see a real good quality video of that, man. If you can't email it to me or something like that, mlm24 at comcast.net or gmail.com. Either one, it works. I'd love to see, see a better quality video of that. That was awesome. Funny, funny. All right, let's continue here. Ooh, King. What do you find? It looks like a gold coin. 1851 gold dollar coin. Check that out. Holy cow. Can you imagine finding a gold coin? That's a lot of people's white whale now, I heard. Wow, wow, wow. Let's say hey to Chuck Bryan. Looks like he dug himself a seated. It looks like it's an 1838. Hey, that's the same year seated up of my first seated dime. One dime. That is awesome. Congratulations there, Chuck. James Martin. Looks like he dug a seated. What is that thing? Half dollar? Shut the front door! Wow, congratulations there, James Martin. That is awesome. He dug another coin here, but check that thing out. A seated half. <gasps> 1866. I'm going to say congratulations and cheers to you, bud. Ah, oh, that is awesome. All right, looks like we got a. Did I miss anybody? Hey, Dirt Diggers UK's in the house. Good to see you there. Uh, I don't think it's Kimmy. It's probably Scott. Good to see you, Scott. Or it could be Kimmy. I don't know. I could be wrong. Either way, it's nice to have you here. Well, thanks for stopping in. We're going through American Digger Magazine. One of the top digging magazines out there for metal detecting. You gotta love it. Seeing who else is in here. John Theriel. Looks like he dug a long live the president button. Check that thing out. Holy cow, that thing's beautiful. We got David Jones. Looks like he dug himself. Is that a three ringer? No way. It looks like a three ringer bullet mold. Check that thing out. Kind of reminds me of uh, Too Many Hobbies, Brett Aston. He dug himself a four size musket ball mold. I showed it in one of my videos. Well, congratulations there, David Jones. That is one awesome three ringer mold, brother. Wow, that, thanks for sharing that too, man. Thanks for taking the time and uh, putting that in the magazine. It's great to see. Rich Swagger. Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Looks like he got it. Is that a 1913? No, it can't be. 1918. 
Walking Liberty 1921 uh, SLQ. And it looks like an 18. Can't see something for Barber. Oopsie. Oh, Facebook. Sheldon Holmes says something. Check those coins out. How awesome are they? Congratulations there, Rich. Cheers to you, mate. We got Bobby Knuckles. Is that an infantry button, maybe? I don't know. Check that thing out. Congratulations. And Robert, I can't remember. <laughs> Born. What is that thing? I don't even want to know. I can't even guess. Are you seeing that? Can you imagine finding something like that? An eagle standing on a cannon with cannonballs? That's just crazy. Digging Buddy's in the house. Good to see you, Digging Buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate that. DF Digger's in the house. Good to see you. Hope I did not miss anybody coming in. If I did, I apologize. Just slap up the at symbol in my name, and I'll see you, and I'll say hi. All right, who else made it in here? This is awesome. Anthony Tyler. He found a Confederate button. Wow, look at these shells. U.S. plates. Check that out. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta love it. Tony Musser found a U.S. plate and a cannonball, it looks like. Congratulations there, Tony. That's awesome. Joyce Hines Burke. Looks like she found a belt plate. Oh, my God. I think it's beautiful with a couple of a wash, silver Washington SLQ. A couple other coins, a spender clip. Check out the belt plate, though. That thing is awesome. Congratulations there, uh, Joyce. Sweet. John Lambert. Check out this. That looks, that looks like a silver applied buckle. I don't know. What do you think there? Not right, Johnny. That thing is beautiful. Love the round buckles. Those are awesome. What do we got here? Dun, dun, dun. Jeff Crone. A Union Cavalry Camp. On that little bar. Ron, just digging lights in the house. Good to see you, Ron. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Appreciate that. Good to see you. Awesome, awesome. Let's see who else is in here. Lane uh, Pratter. I know that guy. I sent him something. Some stickers and something else a few years back. Congratulations there, uh, Lane. Awesome button there. I believe that's a button, right? Yep, infantry button. Look at that spur dug by Douglas Hayes. Oh my God, look at that spur. Can you imagine finding a spur? i never seen it. I, know, I think I've seen one person dig a spur, I think, and that's been it. North Jersey Detector, what does he say? You know everyone, Mike. You're kind of a big deal. I'm a pickle. Is that what you're saying, bud? I've been called a lot worse. And that's just by my friends. <laughs> oh, man, it's always glad to have you here in North Jersey. You make me laugh. Even in the chat, I miss it. If I catch it the next day, man, I still laugh. It's, it's hilarious. I'm, I'm so thankful to have you here, bud. You're awesome. Matter of fact, you rock, bud. That's right, you rock. All right. I don't want to hear what Ambient says. Yeah, I can't stop that. Close your eyes. I don't know. American Digger Magazine. Oh, that's a notification for me that I went live. All right. Better late than never, huh? Hmm? Ooh, check out that lamp. I think it's going good tonight. Ooh. Love that thing. Thanks again, Freddy. T and C Diggers. I seen them in here earlier. BC Treasure Trails is in the house. Good to see you, BC. Thanks for stopping by. I sent a copy to your Gmail account. Oh, thanks there, Messy Hole. I appreciate that. I can't wait to watch that. Oh, I just heard it. <laughs> the notification. I can't wait to watch that after this stream. All right, but John Lambert, man. Beautiful buckle, bud. That thing is gorgeous. And who was this? Eric Lester dug an 1836 
Two and a half dollar gold coin. Wow, 18, what is that, 1836? Look at that thing. Oh my God, two and a half dollar coin. That thing is beautiful. Any gold coin I dig, I'd, I'd be flipping. Flipping. And Timmy Stamp Differ. What is this thing? It looks like a silver and a... It's a Trial Spanish. And then what's that other thing? I don't know. It's an 8 Real something. Check those out. Oh, did they make copper Reals? I have no idea. Beautiful, though. Congratulations there, Timothy. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, ambience key. Oh, man, now I got to go get mine. Hold on, I'll be right back. Because it looks just like hers. Ah, I won't bother. Ambient had three rings towards the, the ring on the end of hers. I think mine only had two, though. And I know they built a mansion where I found mine in 1872. I think she said her railroad bed went in earlier than that. What year did that go in, Nancy? I think you told me. I think it was like 30 or 40 years earlier than mine. But man, that was a 1848. There it is. That's a beautiful key. Congratulations, Nancy. That is awesome. We both got one. High five. Ha -ha, next. Woo. So we, oh my God, I love this lock. I'll show you this in a minute. But I want to uh, thank uh, Troy Embry for taking the time to write a story for finding that ring. Beautiful, beautiful. And Dan Patterson for finding that artifact and sharing it with us. Beautiful. 1000 BC to 1000 AD. Holy cow. That's a time period. Look at all these bottles at Jim. I am not even going to try to pronounce that last name. I think you can. Give it a try. Look at all these bottles you dug. Congratulations there, Jim. Awesome. But John Goslin, look at this lock he dug. That thing is beautiful. I don't know what I'd do if I dug a lock like that. I'd probably cry. Wow, that is awesome. Bill Hayes, he dug himself a barber in one dime, it looks like, in the 1940-something. I don't know. Pretty cool looking, though. Congratulations there. Is it Jim? No, John. Sorry, bud. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No, it was Bill Hayes, sorry. Missing a James Doug, Triple A, Michigan. Deej digging with Deej might know what that is. Do, do, or where that is. Do, do, do. Congratulations there, James. Cool piece. You need to find your lock now. You need to find your lock there, Nancy. That's for sure. Check the messages. Hey, oh, DF, sorry. That's not me. We'll do so many other conversations that don't even involve me. All right, that is awesome. Kenny Rogers, the gambler, on a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere, Kenny Rogers dug himself this beautiful castle piece. I just love it, my friend, and thank you for sharing it, putting it in the magazine so I can show it to my friends. Good job there, Kenny Rogers. Awesome, awesome. Oh my God, look at this. Is that a Drake Bus 1807? American silver coin. What size is that thing? Oh, it's a dime. I can only imagine. Can you imagine pulling a Brad Johns and digging a flowing hair? Woo! Congratulations there, Bobby Knuckles, on that uh, 1807. And what's this? Nate Lawn? Usually I see Nate Lawn. He's always uh, putting in the magazine here bottles and stuff he digs and all kinds of artifacts. Look at these coins you dug. But then check out these rings. Holy cow there, Nate Lawn. Congratulations, bud. Those things are gorgeous. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And thank you, sir, for uh, writing the many stories that you have. I think since I've been... Subscribed to the magazine for over three years. This is my fourth year now. 
I think Nate Long's been in it, I think, in just about every issue. Pretty impressive, folks. Thank you, Nate Long, for sharing all your wonderful stories and artifacts that you find, man. I do appreciate it. That is awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost passed back, uh, passed uh, by Mark Prevost. Found that. And I want to give a shout out to Swinging with History 79, Jared. I don't know if you guys are sub to him, but you should. He was in the chat earlier. I don't know if he's still here. But man, he has a wicked cool uh, videos up the last few days. A few of them, he went arrowhead hunting him. The, 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 uh, the pieces of flake he's finding and the arrowheads and stuff, man, just wonderful. I'm hoping to get invited. I think he invited me this weekend, but now the weather's going to be bad. But hopefully soon we can get together again. He's the one that invited me out for the first time last year. And uh, we went to that uh, cornfield and I found that gold pocket watch and that uh, 1790 Spanish Real. Thanks, Jared. So we're going over History 79. Check him out, folks. He's awesome. He does metal detecting, arrowhead hunting. He, he's very smart and very knowledgeable. Check him out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Who else is it? Oh, who is this? Jason and JT Otter. Found some bullets, three ringers, a buckle. What? <laughs> Take it out, folks. Yeah, hey, I think I'm back now. Sorry about that, folks. Not sure what happened there. David Petrowski. What do you find? Both sides of the cut real? Holy cow. What are the odds of that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. In their own words. Another U.S. belt plate. Ooh, what is that barber? I mean, seated. 1839. He's in here a lot, too. Sean Sergeant Whitey Cheryl. Probably pronounced that wrong. Where is it? Right there. He's in here an awful lot, but hey, check out that thing. How sweet is that? Who was that, Jeff Kincaid? That's a half dime he found. Check that out. Congratulations. Who else is in the house? Dun, dun, dun. You guys know who reads American Digger magazine? Fran Tarkenton, the football player himself. I seen his ad in here one time. You know who else reads American Digger magazine? Little Dirt Diggers herself, Emily, Miss Emily. I seen her ad in here one time. Shouldn't you? It's a great magazine, folks. I just love this thing. Just love it. Oh my god, I know this guy. What we got here? William Baker's in the house. Great to get in that magazine again. William, you're in the magazine? Which one are you, bud? Maybe I haven't gotten to there yet. North Jersey. Timmy Shaw's in the house. Good to see you, Timmy. Timmy, do you see my buddy Mikey? I think he was in here earlier, if he signals. I don't know if he's still here. Do you see that Boy Scout ring he just dug, dude? Be prepared. I think it's silver. It looks silver to me. Mikey, if he signals. That's a silver ring you found, right, bud? Tell me it's silver. Are you still here, bud? Let me know. Oh, me, William. Yes, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Kane Veepin's in the house. Awesome to see you there, Kane. Hope I did not miss anybody. If I did, I'm so sorry. Please give me another shout-out. I'll light my name so I can see you. And that would be awesome. All right. Whew. Jonas Burks. Found this. What is this? A hard times token? Infantry. Oh, wow, look at these things. How cool are those? <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. These are stories in their own words, folks. You can uh, write a story in your own words if you want, or if uh, if they like it, they'll print it, or if they'll if they touch up the story a little bit, you know, they'll put it in the first half of the thing. But, oh my God, I know this guy, Tony. Oh my God, fifty two eighty adventures. I saw this video. I remember when he dug it. Check this out, folks. It was from a Civil War 
Hey, it's Tony. What's up, Tony? 5280 Adventures. Check out the Cross Swords with the B Company there. How cool is that thing? I think that was B Company, right? Company B. I'm sorry. Not B Company. My bad. He found some cool stuff there. He found a lot of bullets, too. Congratulations there, Tony. 5280 Adventures. Check them out, folks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Garen King found an artillery shell. David Johnson found some seated quarters, 70, 1875, 1859. Found an 1871 dime, it looks like. 1876, I'm sorry. Wow, three seated. One hunt. Sweet. Congratulations, man. That was Dave Johnson. All right, who else is in here? Cheers, everybody. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my God, Larry Soper! Look at this pile of Croto bells. Are you kidding me? Yikes! Unbelievable! Can you imagine finding a pile of Croto bells like that? I hope we get that on video somewhere. I hear you, Nancy. I'd love to find just one again, too. I found one when I was with Trooper Bry at my favorite farm in Marlboro. It was so cool that he was there. It was broken, but luckily the broken off piece and the ball itself was still inside the bell when I found it. I was able to glue it back together a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Who is this from? Wes Anderson. Found this cool button with the number 7 on it. I think that's the number 7. This is an awesome magazine, folks. I love the detail. I love the stories. I love the way they print it. If you don't have a copy of American Digger magazine, you're definitely going without. <clears throat> you need to get one issue. And even if you just call in and get one issue, make it this issue of this year. Volume 16, issue 1, 2020, the brand new issue. It's even got me in there. How cool is that? Who reads American Digger? Michael Lyman reads an American Digger magazine. Shouldn't you? I'm going to try and go live every uh, time the issue comes out so I can just uh, give everyone a shout out for their hard work and their uh, and then congratulate them on their uh, finds and uh, give them a little shout out here if I can. This is an awesome badge. Where is this from? It's a metal I dug in Nashville, Tennessee. It's the Mexican Border Service, 1916 to 1917. Mexican Border Service badge found in Tennessee. Is it by Bill? Congratulations, Bill. That's the kind of one-off stuff I love to dig. All that crazy stuff. Hey, BC Treasure Trails is in the house. Good to see you, BC. I think I said hi earlier. Glad to see everyone's communicating in the chat there. That's awesome. <clears throat> Ed Stewart is digging some bottles here. Awesome, awesome. Congrats, Ed. Thanks for sharing your story. Who else is in there? I thought I saw somebody else I knew, too. Just trying to find it now. Joe Severin. He's got some cool coins, some cool tokens, some cool relics. Congratulations there, bud. That's awesome. Daniel. What's there? Patrick Walton. One of those things hammered. Five, recovered five, five cobs. Late 16th century to early 17th century. Imagine that, digging five cobs, Daniel. Congratulations, bud. And a gold ring. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Who goes out and digs a gold ring and five cobs? Daniel does, that's who. Congratulations, Daniel. That one definitely deserves the cheers. That's awesome. 
Wow. Stephanie Inskeep. Hey, I think I'm subbed to her on uh, Facebook. What? She found a Cobb too? With a Garrett AT Max. Rang up as a 77, I think she said. 1621 to 1746. Congratulations, Stephanie. That is awesome. Give them a call, folks. In case if you guys need, need to know what that number is, I'll show you real quick. It's 770-362-8671. There's the phone number. If you want to order a magazine, one issue, subscribe for a year. If you subscribe for two years, you get a little bit off. Give me a call. Who else I see in here, too? I think I saw Matt Howell from Gone Digging. He had a story in there. Michael Sanderson. What is that thing with the eagle? I found a hardy hat pin of Nashville, Tennessee. Back in November of 2019. That's a cool hat pin. Check that thing out. Congratulations there, Michael. That thing is awesome. Love it. Ron, what did he find? No way, is that a Connecticut copper, dude? Sweet. I finally found my first Connecticut copper. It was my white whale for four years. Congratulations, bud. Who was that again? That was Ron. I can't pronounce the last name. I'll let you guys uh, try if you want. Found a Connecticut copper. I found mine in East Hampton, Connecticut. You know who else has just found one, too? In East Hampton, Connecticut? Oh, I can't think of the channel name now. He's going to kill me. Andrew, he hunts with me. in Jazzy Jeff. Andrew. Wait, I got it right here. Earth on Earth. Earth on Earth. He just dug one just before the end of the year. Or just after the first of the year. He goes, Mike, I got a Connecticut State Copper. The same as yours. I was like, dude, what are the odds of that? It took me four years to find that white whale. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Where was he with this when this happened? At a New Hampshire site, he said. A lot of them have been found in New York, New Hampshire, Vermont. Even down in Maryland, they find Connecticut coppers. You don't find so many in, in Connecticut itself because they weren't made here. They're made everywhere else. All right, Tim. It looks like he found a gun. Where was that from? It's a 1902 Colt 38 Auto. Is that 1911? Congratulations there, Tim. How many people can say they found a full gun? Not me. I have never found a gun. Except for a cap gun. Toy gun. Harley Hudson. What did they find? Look at those buttons. Wish I had time to read every single story here, folks, but I don't. But check out those one-off buttons. I've never seen anything like it. That's just wicked cool. That's what I love about this magazine. You just never know what you're going to find in the magazine that people find. It's just pretty amazing. Oh, look at that eagle. Hey, that was Riley Bryant. I know him. He's got a YouTube channel. Looks like he found an eagle plate. Congratulations there, Riley. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did Mike take off his socks? Why, do you smell something funny? Well, I still got my socks on. All oh, Metal Mike's in the house. Good to see you, All Metal Mike. Who else is here? Did I miss anybody else? Little Petty Coins 999's in the house. You're here. Good to see you. Thanks for raising your hand and letting me know. Just going through my new copy of American Digger magazine I just got. Giving some uh, congratulations to some people. Yeah, I missed somebody. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was Ron. Oh, there he is right next to Ron and just below Tim with the gun. You know who we have? Stan, admonished to metal. 
Here's a guy with a Connecticut copper. There's a guy with a gun. And look who's right here. Stan, a monster metal. He found himself. He says, I found this 1797 Drake Bus Large scent when I was detecting some cellar holes with my friends, Johnny, James, Rebecca. Johnny brought us there in his Jeep down some class four roads. I don't know what that means, class four, but <clears throat> man, it was a bumpy ride. I was so excited about the coin that I knelt in bear scat. All right, Stan, I'll take a little bear scat on the knee to find me a coin like that. It's a 1797 Drake Bus Large Cent. Congratulations, Stan, a monster medal. After he knelt down in the bear scat, he says, I found with my Mind Lab Equinox 600 using my Field 1 mode, sensitivity at 25. And I dug it on October on 2019 in Webster, New Hampshire. And he does YouTube channel, I monitor the metal. 1797 Drake Bus, dug by our very own community buddy, Stan Amonish the Metal. Congratulations there, buddy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gotta love it. MD Melbourne's here? Hey, Jim, MD Melbourne. What's up, bud? Cheers to you, mate. How'd the operation go? How you feeling? Let me know. Oh, my God. Did you, you win last night, didn't you? GTA Dave's in the house. Good to see you, Dave. Sorry, I'm just seeing what uh, Jim has to say here. I'm still under the influence. You got anesthesia still? I want me some anesthesia. <laughs> anesthesia. No, anesthesia. I don't even know what it's called now. Mark, the bird hunter's in the house. Good to see you, Mark. Sorry if I missed you earlier. It's hard to pay attention to everything. What's up? American Digger Magazines, what's up? And all these wonderful people that took the time and wrote stories and submitted all their finds. Gold ring and five cobs. That's awesome. Even Stan, I'm honest, the metal. That is so awesome. Gotta love it. It's even better when you read the magazine and you, and you find somebody you know in there. That's, that's just awesome. Riley Bryant, that's awesome. He's got a YouTube channel. He writes a lot of stories and stuff, I think, for American Digger Magazine. Ryan Schmar, what is that thing? It's the 1830s Massachusetts Militia Shaco Plate. I don't know what a Shaco Plate is. And a cellar hole. What the hell's a Shaker Plate? Look at that thing. Straight up the nose for surgery. <laughs> what? Coffee beans, I hope you're talking about. Well, you guys are subbing up each other. That's awesome. Make sure you do. Show support and love. You gotta love it. Who is this? This is Larry Holland. He dug a Drake bus 1807. Quarter, it looks like. 25. Took it back on October 26, 2019. Congratulations there, Larry. On your 1807. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Palm Z's in the house. Good to see you, Palm Z. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Always glad to have you here. Kane Beepin's in the house now. Good to see you, Kane. Saw your son earlier. All right, who else was in here? Jason Homa. Wow, check this out. He dug something like Tony's with the cross cannons. But he got like some U.S. collar disc plates and that thing. Check that thing out. What is that? What does it say? 17 and a half something seat. Uh, never seen anything like it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's see who else. I think I saw Matt Howell in there. Let me see if I can find him again. That could have been the other issue. Wow, some fancy stuff. Awesome magazine, folks. If you ever get a chance, check out American Digger magazine. You won't be disappointed. It's got wonderful stories. Beautiful pictures. Awesome relics. 
Oh, the can He looks familiar. Who is that? That's David Jones. Holds a freshly excavated cannonball. Congratulations there, David Jones. That's awesome. Imagine fighting a cannonball. This guy did. Just subscribed to the magazine today. Awesome, Mark. Mark the Burke Hunter. Check him out, folks. That young lady just dug a three ringer. I know I have a smile on my face like that if I dug a three ringer. <clears throat> that is awesome. Love this magazine. Wow. Love the old bottles and stuff they put in here, too. They got Silver War relics, anything. Any, all kinds of relics. Have a good evening. Got a split. Good show. Thank you there, DF Digger. Awesome to see you here, bud. Finders Keeper John's in the house. What's up there, bud? Good to see you, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys have been having some great videos and some good luck lately. A lot of silver coins, all kinds of coins being found there. Wow, that is awesome. Pound of Ground 2019. This is a special edition of the Pound of Ground last year in this issue. I didn't even get a chance to look, look at this issue yet. Tonight's the first night. Oh, I can't say that. I showed somebody my ad there. Wow, look at these bottles and ink wells. Just awesome. Dug by a family. I found a gold ring, too. Wow. A lot of people up on the ground. Holy cow. All right, folks, I'm not going to stay on too much longer. I'll show you this one more time. That guy look familiar? He's reading American Digger magazine, shouldn't you? This is the mansion permission I just got, 1872 mansion. The old Bevan house where they used to make the bells, the bicycle bells that people have been finding lately with the flags on them. It was built by this family. All well, those bells were made by this family. Found two bucket listers there in November. My first Connecticut state copper coin, 18, uh, 1787. When are you going to stay overnight? As soon as I can get some people to come stay overnight with me, Nance. Hint, hint. You want to come? Try to get Charlie and Sandy Reiser to come, too. See if it's haunted or not. That'd be cool. Love to get Jer Jersey History Hunters up there with us, too. But, yeah, I also found uh, the other bucket lister was, was my skeleton key, just like Nancy. Ambient Girl Relic Hunter. Found a key just like hers there back in November. Also found a pen from Yale. The college. It's a four-leaf clover. It has a Y-A-L-E on it. And I think the lady was a nurse who graduated from Yale back in the late 1800s. How cool is that? I love that mansion. It's got the old tiger fountain in the front that spits the water down into the fountain below it. Amazing place there, folks. If you go door knocking, don't be afraid to stop somewhere and knock on a door. You never know what kind of permission you're going to get, what kind of stuff you're going to find. Hey, what's the worst they can say is no, right? Oh, I love this magazine. It's all because of this guy right here, Butch. Thank you, Butch. You're awesome, bud. Him and his wonderful wife own the magazine. He's put me in it 15 times out of the last 19 issues. Thank you, Butch. I can't thank you enough, bud. Thankfully enough, I found some cool enough relics to be uh, worthy enough to be in the magazine. Check him out. I think he's, um, I think he has a YouTube channel too. He's on Facebook. He's everywhere. Check out Butch. Welcome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just love, oh, look at those relics. <laughs> I don't know what some of this stuff is. I know what some of it is. I don't know what all of it is, though. That's awesome. That's why we do it, folks. Have fun. 
take these cool relics out of the ground. I got one of these round things here. That's awesome. I found one of these too. I'm not sure what it is. Anybody know what this thing is? Did I step up for something? Get the chopper and the horse. What? <laughs> well, congratulations to the people I know again. Tony, 5280 Adventures. Stan, I'm honest to metal. For making it in January's issue. Hey, I'm in it with you guys. I love it when I'm in the same issue as people I know. Made it in with Jason Quarter Hoarder, digging with Deej. So many wonderful people. I think Jersey History Hunters. Little Dirt Diggers. I just can't name them all. I can't think of them all. Hey, Gina, always a VIP's in the house. Good to see you, Gina. So sorry, hon, we got mixed up with the copper one round that, that you won. I forgot which one it was. I know I was supposed to send it to you, but you didn't send me your address for like a month or two later. If you want, I still have it. I can I can pull one up and I'll send it to you next time. I think I already gave it away to somebody else, so. Well, thanks for stopping back again. It's great to see you here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I just want to say cheers, everybody. Everyone who took the time to write a story to the magazine. Thank you, thank you. I gotta say, this is my favorite magazine ever. You learn a lot, too. Because if you don't know what something is, they have a section for that. Just ask. Oh, you guys can't see that. Found some of these clock parts myself. Oh, can you imagine finding something like that? God. Just amazing. Even the front cover. Always cool stuff on that. Is that a pine tree shilling? What the? Oh, look at that thing. Oh my God. Just awesome. Whew. That is a 2020, January, February's issue. And this is a last, uh, the last one of last year. This is a volume 15, issue six. They only do six issues a year, folks. This was uh, November, December of last year. Look at the belt plate on the front page. Come on, boy. There was one item that I found that made the cover. It was an 1838 seated one dime. Looks like the guy got it from the bank and dropped it in the ground. It's pretty sweet looking. I still got it sitting over there. Oh, this is the one I saw with Matt Howell in it. He's out there with Loy. Check him out. Two handsome dudes right there. Hope the baby's doing well there, Matt. Awesome, awesome. Loy, happy anniversary to you and your wife. I just saw that posted on Facebook. You guys look awesome together. Loy, man, digging with seven. You gotta check his channel out. I love his, I love his videos. Because when he uh, finds something, he goes back and he takes and gives you a history lesson on what he finds. And you learn a lot of stuff. I learned four years ago when I started watching him. I learned a lot of stuff that first year. A lot of stuff. Check out Lloyd, digging with seven. I'm talking about your key. I love your key, Nancy. It looks almost exactly like my key. We both got our bucket lister key. Ricky Wildman's Lies hopes to find a key this year. I hope he does too. That would be awesome. But last uh, month, what did I make it in for? I made it in the magazine for something. Oh, you know what? I think I made it on the first page. Oh, I found one of these. I don't know if you guys remember that powder flask. Got it sitting over there in my curio cabinet. Yes, I did. The first page of the Just Dug section right there. That was my cadet button I found when I was with Mikey if he signals. USMA cadet button. Dug by Michael Hyman. That's me. And the heavy iron. See those lovely hands right there? Those are Ricky the Wild Man's hands holding it for me. Well, I took the picture. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. Wild man, buddy. Great magazine, folks. I can't say enough about it. I love talking about it. He put me in there. He sent me a t-shirt. Can't thank you enough, Butch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I won't stay on much longer, folks. Thank you for tuning in.
I just wanted to, I didn't see uh, that Paul American Woodland Relics was on, so I figured I'd jump on real quick. Get this American uh, Digger Magazine edition done. Oh, digging with Deej here. I miss her. B3 Relic Recovery. Oh my God, I miss a whole bunch of you guys. Timmy Shaw. Good night, bud. Good to see you here. Got your package out in the mail today with those four things in there for you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sent out everybody's mail and packages today. So, But I do have some more packages coming out to Not Right Johnny, Monster Metal Stan, Messy Hole, James, Rebecca's Fines, Rebecca, Not Right Johnny, Rebecca, James, Monster Metal. I think that was it. Might be one more. I can't remember. Making a few more weight white whale boxes or containers. Gonna send them off to some people. Have some fun. And uh, I'll be adding those up. They look like this. I'll be adding those into my uh, giveaways every month for the next few months. And once you find your white whale, you can open it. See what's inside. Like I said, it doesn't matter what's inside. It's about the dreams and the hopes of finding your white whale. Heavy though, a lot of good stuff in there. Have to wait and see though. Alrighty, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Hope you enjoyed the American Digger Magazine edition of MA Lyman 24. This was volume 16, issue one. Probably do it again back in then uh, coming up in March or April. Probably March. I get the next uh, issue. And uh, we'll see who made it in American Digger Magazine. I know I got about four stories to write. I got to get busy. I've been slacking. You guys find something cool? Hey, go online to AmericanDiggerMagazine.com. Go to the Just Doug section and submit your find. Just where it says click and drag a picture there. Don't do that. Just click the box where it says drag your picture there. And uh, it'll pull up your uh, photos. And then click the photo you want to put in that box. And then you can write a little story about it and uh, submit it. And who knows, maybe you'll make it in American Digger Magazine. All righty, folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. If you want, come see me live this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be live on YouTube again doing what I do for fun there in the winter months and whatever. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Love you. Bye.